Hi guys, Jace here. I'm about 20 minutes south of Rotorua by car and I'm parked up in the car park at, you can read it for yourself. I am ready to go up to Rainbow Mountain. Rainbow Mountain's a loop. It features a two and a half kilometer climb, which is about 300 meters. So it's gonna be pretty hefty. And then you get a good view at the top, I hope. And then we've got a grade four downhill of about three kilometers before we ride a few kilometers back. So I think it's about a 10, 12 kilometer loop, but we'll see. Come and join me on their little adventure. See how steep the climb is and see how good the grade four on the way down is. See if it's worth it. Now, according to trail folks, we follow the cycle trail Tiara Ahi for a couple of kilometers, two or three kilometers before we turn off uh, up to the ascent, which is about two kilometers, I think, and 300 meters. Pretty rough going already. Oh, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no, no worries. <laughs> Thanks. So, of course, this trail is two way. So, just be aware it's flattened out a little bit after the first 100 meters of steepness. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but just haven't got around to it. Seems to be climbing basically straight from the car park. Thank you. Was it a good view? Yeah, it's a bit slippery. Is it? Yeah, because mine fell over. Oh, mine fell over. That's not good. I guess this is mum who fell over and twisted her ankle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> good Oops, job. Mate. Mate, you're good. So they said it might be slippy, a bit clay up there. I guess I might be pushing it a bit. So that was only a kilometer, so that's not too bad. Summer track to the left here, on Pearl Trail. So a couple of kilometers, 300 meters. It's starting off great. <laughs> it's a little bit techy in places. So far. Hi there, thank you. Hi. Is the view good? Yeah. Good luck, thanks. <laughs> you must know something I don't. <laughs> it gets pretty steep. All right, I wonder if I can do it without actually dabbing. Oh, tricky section. Ooh. No. Oh, got a little open bit. You can see, I can see the tower ahead of me. I've been riding 2.3k from the car park. Oh, 1.3, 1.4. Sorry. Hiya. Hey. I can imagine it's quite tough in the wet, actually. This is probably going to get slippy. Oh, dear. Oh, this is a tough stretch. This looks good. I'm not spinning. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. this. Let's have a look around now. Big stop. Good for a rest as well. <laughs> Back wheel, spin. All right, I'll push up this bit. Don't want to go over the side there. Yeah, there's a couple of steep bits like this that you're better walking, pushing. Going so slow that my computer thinks I've paused. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I got it! Saved it! <laughs> All right, looks like we're nearly there. All right, 
Maybe just up the gravel, be easier for me. Well, I made it. Back to Rotorua. Tarawira in the distance there. You can see the mountain just behind the bushes. Downhill mountain bike trail only grade four. So it's only a hundred meters or so from the top. Apparently you have to go pretty steady on the way down. It's not like a flowy trail. You have to plot your way through it and there's quite a few lines. I did have a look on Trail Forks and someone rode the other day and said it was quite overgrown. Let's have a look then. See what I mean? Pretty good so far. Not too meaty, there's a few uh oh shit, that's quite narrow. <laughs> and a few um Few steep sides and a few roots to contend with. But I will just plop my way down. I'm only on my Epic, so I'm on my uh, down country kind of bike, 120 minute, 120 mil of travel on the front, 115 back. It's obviously two ways to go there. The other way was easier. I don't know what's tricky about it, not knowing what's coming up and if it's rideable or not. Sure, most of it is on this. Uh, there's obviously another kind of trail to the left there, so this is it's doable, I guess, down there or to the left, but uh. Not today and not on this, on my own. It's a little bit better there, as you can see, to the left hand side or to the right as we're looking at. And this is quite a big drop. Doable lower and a decent bike with decent trail. And probably better if you were with someone else. I'll be sensible. So that climb up, I managed to do about two thirds of it without dabbing, but that top section is hard work, man. There'll be a few people that can do it, I know that, but I'm certainly not one of them. This is a nice bit.
keep looking to see if my oh, oh. <laughs> I was expecting that and I wasn't quite clipped yet Beautiful flowy section. Let it go a bit. <laughs> Feeling confident. Looks like I've lost a bit, of, quite a bit of elevation. quite high. Ooh, stay in the rut. Two ways. Ooh. Probably gone the harder way. I did, but it was okay. Actually, be at the bottom here. It's on long grass, it's quite uh, Where's the trail? There it is. Okay, there we go. So, as you can see, we're just going down the mountain bank trail. We're here, there's a car park here, so you could park here actually it's probably a longer drive though so now i'm just gonna ride back along this trail here i think it's about 4k or so Let's see what this trail's like it's quite overgrown <laughs> there is the road to the left if you wanted to risk your life and uh, ride along the road but i think you agree the trail is always better
So the trail back to the car park is a little bit overgrown, as you can see. Ooh. It is in the middle of summer, though. Or the start of the summer. <laughs> be careful in these bits. There's little holes everywhere. <laughs> can catch you out. Goodness. It's very... Overgrown. This trail back from the car park is a little bit undulating. Just a bit of warning. Just a few little kind of pinch climbs, not too much. But it certainly isn't flat. Okay. Here we are back at the car park. There we go, that's it. Scores on the board. Took an hour and five minutes riding time, probably another 20 minutes of faffing around there. So you give yourself a good hour and a half, maybe two hours if you want to stop for a picnic at the top. It was only nine kilometers, so you can see how long it took me. My average speed was pretty low. There wasn't anywhere where I could get my speed up really, apart from a few sections uh, going down the hill. But it was quite enjoyable. It was good to do at least once, so I'm glad I did it for a little adventure. If you're thinking about doing it, why not? Yes, it is a little bit of a tough climb. You can get most of the way up and push towards the end, but it is over relatively quickly and you can do the full round trip in just over an hour. So get it done. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content and I'll see you out there on the trails.